And that's what happens, folks, when you dilly-dally. Or as they say, lollygag. Dilly-dally, lollygag, or pussyfooting around. I'm not sure, quite sure where those terms came from, but I understand they mean that's what happens when you don't commit to doing things when you should, when you just kind of drag your knuckles along the ground, Ken. What am I talking about? A haircut. I've had I have three months, two months off to get a back-to-school haircut. Plenty of time to go and get a haircut, but here I am searching, scouring the earth for a back-to-school haircut on the night before Meet the Teacher. Hang on a second. Alright, that's better. I don't want to vlog while driving, especially when it's this dark. And I didn't want that car to be, uh, you know, in my space, or I don't want to cause any kind of accidents. So I pulled over here safely, but it's dark. Say, so what happened was, I went to my normal hair cuttery to get my hair cut, and my normal stylist is wonderful, and she was working today, but she's like, Ken, I can't take you today. I've got uh, too many things to do, and there was like eight people in line to get the hair cut. So I said, okay, I know this great place in the mall. I had to go to Sears anyway to buy some clothes, so I go there, and it was closed. It was no longer open at the mall. So I said, okay, fine. There is a Paul Mitchell school at the mall. At the mall. At the mall. So I went to the Paul Mitchell school, which was fine. But it takes quite a long time to get a haircut. You don't just plop down, tell them what you want, and get a haircut. That's all I wanted, which is a haircut. He did a great job, by the way. Killer job. I'm very, very happy with what he did. But, because you got to sit there, and they got to talk about your haircut, then the instructors come over, then they got to sign a waiver saying that you don't fault them if they screw your head up for whatever reason. And then while he's cutting, the instructors jump in, and then they critique, and they tell him what to do. And then at the end, he gets the cr critiqued again. Then I get the shampoo, and I get the I get the hot towel, and all that fun stuff. But I had a great experience, because I got a good haircut. It was only 12 bucks. Apparently, if you go on Wednesdays, men's haircuts are only $5 at the hair cuttery. I mean, at the, not hair cuttery, at the Paul Mitchell School at the Oviedo Mall. So, then I had to go to, to go to Sears, went into Sears to buy clothes. Again, I've had two months to go back to school shopping for clothes. But no, I wait the night before to get a haircut and buy clothes the night before of Meet the Teacher. I walk into Sears, ready to go shopping. And I hear, attention shoppers, the store will be closing in five minutes. Thank you. It wasn't quite the voice he did, but you get the idea. So now I have five minutes to buy clothes for tomorrow. And it's late. I haven't had dinner yet. I've been up since early, early this morning. Can't wait to go home. Get a little bite to eat. Get a little nap, a little sleep in. And tomorrow, meet the teacher. So just figure out, pause right here, and tell you right now that my little word, words of wisdom, don't lollygag, don't dilly-dally, and don't drag your knuckles along the ground or drag your feet or whatever they say. You got something to do, get out there and do it. Don't be like this guy. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.